The Life of Man by Sir Francis Bacon 1561 to 1626 The world's a bubble and the life of man less than a span in his conception wretched from the womb so to the tomb cursed from the cradle and brought up to years with cares and fears who then to frail mortality shall trust but limbs the water or but writes in dust yet since with sorrow here we live oppressed what life is best courts are but only superficial schools to dandle fools the rural parts are turned into a den of savage men and where's a city from all vice so free but may be termed the worst of all the three Domestic cares afflict the husband's bed, or pains his head. Those that live single take it for a curse, or do things worse. Some would have children, those that have them none, or wish them gone. What is it then to have no wife, but single thraldom, or a double strife? Our own affection still at home to please is a disease. To cross the sea to any foreign soil, perils and toil. Wars with their noise affright us. When they cease, we are worse in peace. But th what then remains? But that we still should cry not to be born, or being born to die. Okay, this poem is by Sir Francis Bacon. Um, he was the Lord Chancellor of uh, England, he, which is the person who is in charge of ma maintaining the independence of the courts nowadays. And he was the father of... Um, empiricism he he is the person that that led the idea that to make progress in science the only way is by observation observation of the natural world around us and uh, from that drawing conclusions so what's this about okay I think this poem is rather a rather downbeat it, it's saying that um, life is short and that whatever we choose to do we are going to have problems and difficulties and we're going to have worries whatever we choose yeah he's effectively saying that life is uh, short and uh, we are going to have problems and worries wh whatever we do yeah um, and he's wondering what is the best choice yeah should we do, do this should we have children should we live in the country should we live in the city but none of these are problem free all of these um, uh, g give us problems and difficulties so the world's a bubble and the life of man less than a span so the, there is this world around us and we only live a short time in in this world it's just a little bit of time compared to the time of the world and when we are born in his conception wretched and from the womb so to the tomb uh, when we are conceived when we we are made when we are are, are, are going to be born um, this means that we are going to have problems and difficulties yeah we're going to have this from when we are born from the womb to the tomb
yeah our, our future is to live and die cursed from the cradle and brought up to years with cares and fears so it's it's like we have a curse on us yeah the we are destined to live through um problems and things that make us afraid who then to frail mortality sh shall trust we are we are mortal we are more uh, we live life life is is uh easily destroyed uh it doesn't last a long time and everything we do but limbs the water so it describes the water to limb uh is like is like water that is moving it's not permanent or but writes in dust if you write something in dust then it's in time it's blown away or it disappears so when we actually die we don't really leave anything behind we're trying to write uh words we want to be permanent and live forever but it's not the way yet since with sorrow here we live oppressed what life is best but as we're here as we're alive what should we do what's the best thing to do in life and then he says courts are but only superficial schools to dandle fools i like this internal internal rhyme schools and fools so the courts the the court of the king or the court of the queen these are only uh, a superficial place to dandle to play with fools yeah so the courts are where people play 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 with you the rural parts are turned into a den of savage men so if you live in the country then the then uh the people are savages a den a place full of a den of iniquity a den of savage men so um life is hard and difficult and unsophisticated and mm, savage and where's a city from all vice so free so is there a you could look for a city for, that doesn't have any vices but that's not going to happen you're not going to find it and then he says maybe this city may be termed the worst of all the three so maybe living in the city is worse than living in court l worse than and worse than living in the countryside domestic cares afflict the husband's bed or pains his head so domestic cares he's thinking you could get married yeah one of the things you can do in life is get married but you're going to you're always going to be worried about how do i look after my family what's best for my family and this can affect your bed maybe your rest or maybe even your sex life with your partner yeah um or pains his head or gives him headaches so the husband is always worried about how to care for his families those that live single take it for a curse or do things worse so people who li who are single think that it's terrible it's a curse being single or maybe they do things worse they do terrible things i think maybe this is mm, suggesting either uh sex out of marriage or homosexuality or maybe even rape some would have children those that have them none or wish them gone so some people want to have children some people don't have any or some people have children and wish they didn't have children and which is the best <laughs> having children not having children what is it then to have no wife but single thraldom or double strife so he then asks so have uh, if you are married 
uh, um, sorry, if you aren't married, to have no wife? Is this being enslaved on your own? Or it's, is it a double problem? You have to do uh, uh, everything on your own. You've got nobody to help you. Our own affection still at home to please is a disease. Um, so, um, lo lo loving your family and having a family at home, yeah, it ca um, maybe it seems uh, a pleasure, but it also can be the cause of many problems. To cross the sea to any sorrow fo soil, perils and toil. So if you go to live in another country, you cross the sea, then this is full of danger and hard work. Wars with their noise affright us. When there's war, we are terrified. When they cease, we are worse in peace. So maybe th things are very bad during the during the time a time of war, but maybe worse things happen in times of peace. What then remains? What do we do? What do, how do we decide? But that we still should cry, not to be born or being born to die. So then he asks, which is better, not to have ever been born at all? or being born but knowing that we are going to die and we're going to live with these problems and sorrows and pains so i think this it's um effectively a poem wondering about the meaning of life and uh, what's the best thing to do and we need to be resigned to difficulties and problems um, personally, I think we, we, we need to just accept the things that we can't change and try to do the things we want to do and the things that we enjoy. And I think there's no more to it. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. The Life of Man by Sir Francis Bacon